Hello everyone, as I promised from my last video, we're going to examine again this concrete that we built using dry poured method. And if you have not seen my first video, I encourage you to watch that video. I'm going to put that link at the end screen and also at the description below and also at the card above. So this concrete right here is the one that I slightly missed on top. So we're going to cut this again in half and, and see if inside is the same thing as this. Okay. Now, this is the one that I have actually saturated completely during the first watering. So we're going to cut this also. So we'll grab one sample from each and then we'll cut them. And I'm using a diamond blade. So hopefully it's still good. And while we're cutting this concrete, I hope that you're enjoying the content that I've been creating. If you are new here, I want to take a moment to invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's completely free and it's the best way to stay up to date with all of my latest video. As you know, creating content takes a lot of time and effort and every single subscriber helps to make it all worth it. Okay, so this one is the one that we form using the procedure that everybody's using. Basically, two light mist and then showers, okay? And I hope you can see that. It's solid all the way through. It, this is just my cut that I did not do right. It looks like it did harden properly. Okay. So let me go ahead and cut the other one. Okay. So this is how it looks like now. This is actually... What's this? 10 days? 11 days? So... It looks pretty solid to me. Again, this is the one that I lightly missed twice and then four showers. And you can see right now, I hope that this thing is showing clearly on the screen. This is the one that we cut after 24 hours. See right now, everything have dried out. And this is the one that we cut today. And this is the one that we soaked all the way through. So that's the top. And this is the one that we cut after 24 hours. Okay. And this is the cut that we did today. So everything is properly set. Okay. Okay. So this is it. If you want to look at it again. And I hope that you found this video helpful to you. Make sure to subscribe because I have a lot more dry pour concrete experiment based on the comments that I received from my first video. And make sure to leave a comment below. What do you think? Do you think this is good enough? And if you're going to use this, for what application are you going to be comfortable using this? And again, thank you for watching.